I don't think that boss is actually necessary. Now that I think about it. I don't know what he... If he is, I don't think he is. Yeah, I think that's an optional boss. Um... Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Farewell, Ashen One. She never really gets any dialogue. Do I have any bone shards? Oh, I do. So this strengthens how much, um, basically healing this bonfire does. Which, of course, we want as much as possible. Oh, yeah, we got the Mortician's ah, Ashes as well. How may I be of service? I have some ashes. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Man, I'm rattled. I died. Um. Ashen one. Oh, okay. Is it not? <laughs> so let's purchase items. She now has two keys. She has the tower key, which we'll buy, and the grave key, which is a key to a door in the undead settlement sewer, which I'm pretty sure I know where that is. And I don't think she got anything else. That's about it. Ashen one, be sure. Ah, well, just good. What needs? What needs smithing today? So I was wondering what I should do. So I can do this axe, which is 112 and 112. I can do the Yuki Katana, which is 126 and 100 critical. I can do this broadsword, which is actually better. The only thing is it doesn't have a bleed effect. Also, it doesn't scale with dex very well, which the Yuki Katana does. This deep battle axe doesn't scale at all, so it's kind of not useful. I was thinking of infusing the Yuki with fire damage. That could work, right? Could be raw. Hmm. I've been using this axe a ton. It's just it doesn't scale, so it's useless, really. I'm thinking I'll go with the Yuki Katana. Let's go plus one, plus two. So that's at 149 plus 24. Then we'll... We can infuse it with a fire gem. 115 plus 115. Which is... Yeah, it's better than that. Okay. Thing is, some stuff is gonna be is gonna be stronger, obviously, than fire. So I think I won't do that. Let's actually put on the Yuki Katana. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Why? Oh, I'm at 71% equip load. Crap. Oh, no, I need to die more? Crap. So I think I need to die a bunch really quick here. You haven't given up yet. Then you can make me. Oh, I thought I... Okay. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> The undead legion of Fiskjoris gaining admission to the legion is a matter of... Oh, has he said this before? Crap! Inside their keep, 
snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission inside their keep. Okay. Oh, um. Let's go. Let's go give this guy the transposing kill. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. I don't think you have For feet. I am a lord, and this is my throne. Yes. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What to fear in a little transposition now? So we can transpose. So we can do a few so far. We can do Pontiff's left eye. Soul of the Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. Or we can do his Great Hammer, which is a strength weapon. So I think I'm going to do the Pontiff's Left Eye. Soul of a Demon. Where do I get a demon soul? Demon's fist. Also a strength weapon. A store our store spear is a pretty freaking sweet uh, dexterity weapon. Earl Ast Earl Arstor the Impaler. I might you I might get that, I'm not gonna lie. Hollow S Hollow Slayer Greatsword. Harbors the fear. Whoa, it scales with dexterity? That's kind of interesting. These both seem pretty good. I might have to go with this great sword. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords. Okay, we've already seen so it is. We've I heard it. I we've heard it. I don't need this. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the dot. Hey, we need vitality. Go with. I guess let's go with two. Farewell, Ashen One. Yay! We're not fat rolling. And with that. We're gonna go jump off a ledge a few times. What? Why is... what? Why is there a fog gate up? Oh, do I have an Estus shard, by the way? Or a bone shard? No. No, I do not. Oh, let's put on the pontiff's left eye. The Witch Ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights recovers HP with successive attacks. Knights who peer into the Black Orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts, 
No wonder the pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. Okay, so I want to go die a few times. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is how you use the dark sign. So why doesn't this disappear? It takes forever. There we go. Where did my 800 souls go? I don't want to lose those. There they are. And there they go. Rip. Now let's go talk to Yol of Landor. Oh, I then shall let's draw out some true strength. Uh I guess I should keep going on dexterity, eh? Be safe. Oh, I be safe. Okay. Let's go out again. So we can do that five times. I just I just don't get why you have to die for it all the time. So we've done it twice now, I think. I think you died twice for every level of the dark sign. So let me go. Oh, I went to the wrong side, no! Man, I love the Chloranthi ring. So I think we die once more. Is there a stats page, I wonder? Status. I don't remember if there is. I don't think there is. Nah, there's no thing to tell you how many times you've died. I think you need to die 12 times to get all five levels. <laughs> wonder if I can just keep jumping off. Hey! Oh, I totally can. It would take forever, but I could do it. I don't get why this takes so long to, like, reload. Let me out! Yes. I could be killing these guys. I don't know why I'm not. Oh! Get an extra 44 every single time? Might as well, right? This is how you farm, baby. <laughs> this is how you farm. Uh, Yol is down here. 
I yeah, see? Keep going up on decks. Be safe. See, the only thing is, I'm not quite sure what the dark sign does. You'll see. I have three of them. It accumulates curse. The darkness never heal. Put a great comfort of the bear of curse. I'm not quite sure what it does. I feel like it does something when you die, but not even 100% on that. And off we go! Can you use this while you're falling? Oh, I was gonna say, can you use Estus Flask while you're flying through the air? I'm really sorry about this. I should have just done this off camera. Oh, I then shut Bear. Uh, one more in dexterity. Be safe. Now I think we only need to die one more time. I think you need to die like a total of 12 times. It's probably really annoying to watch. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. I'm telling you, this is... I know. I know for a fact this is probably pretty boring. But it is interesting. I mean, if you want to know how to do this. Um... I feel like I should do strength now. Eh, let's do dex. Be safe. Perfect. So that is all five dark signs that we can accumulate. Now, I don't quite know what how like the healing and stuff works for it I don't know if it gets rid of your levels if it adds levels what does it do also 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 I just remembered why I was here let's go this way I have a bit of a surprise for the viewers check this out I was reading and I found this in my last playthrough and you guys might remember this if you're all hardcore Dark Souls fans like your boy here. Um, there's there's usually a crow in every game. And obviously with this there's no change or no exception I guess you could say. So we bought the tower key. Obviously we can use it now. Grab that soul. So now we can head up here. And I was wondering what the tower key would be used for. So, check this out. So if we go over here. Also, you can take the way down there. Go over here, and then up. And then, I don't think there's actually anything along the ledge. There's no point to go. If we go up here, there's a firekeeper soul, which is nice. Um, okay, this is actually not where I wanted to go. Crap. Anyways, up there is a firekeeper soul, which I can't remember what that actually does. Does that 
you give it to the firekeeper, and what does it do? I'm trying to remember. Anyways, let's drop down. Oh! Kick that down. Couple homeward bones. Um. Oh, okay, that's where I want to go. There we go. I found it. Perfect. I have found it. Pickle Pea and Pumperum. The Crows. An Estes Shard as well. Very nice. Me. Me. Illusory Wall. Oh, it. Whoa, it is! No way. Well, that's sick. I actually didn't know about that. Okay. Okay, so. Basically, what I was saying. There's something you drop here, this Sigbrow. Which, um, is a special brew of Sigrid, of Katarina. Sorry, I was reading that. I don't want to use it, I want to leave it. <laughs> if you leave it. She gets all stoked. And check out what you get. Armor of the Sun. And you know what that is. You know who that's from. It's worse in like every way. But it has a place in my heart. And I have to use it. It's literally worse in every way. Pretty much. Except against magic. So maybe we won't use it. But I'll definitely wear it for now. Look at that! <laughs> yes! Solaire's armor. And why do I have such a gut right now? Do you guys see that? <laughs> My chest is like puffed out or something. It's Solaire's armor! Look at how cool that is! Let's, let's check it out. Chainmail armor and white coat featuring a large rendition of the holy symbol of the sun. The choice attire of a singular knight of sunlight from a previous age. The symbol was painted by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. So, essentially, I guess I realized that all the Dark Souls take place in different ages. So, obviously the Age of Fire, then it becomes dark, or I guess the, the fire fades. And a new age begins. Is what I kind of get out of it. And it took me so long to realize that. I always thought like, oh man, they're in the same world. They must be, right? Let's test that. Like the same times. But essentially everything dies. You know, it leaves everything behind. Everything gets covered in ash and crap. And then everybody rebuilds. And Also, the covetous serpent ring. Nice. Fallen foes yield more souls. Nice! So we got the, the armor of sunlight. I'm actually so stoked. I was reading that on the Dark Souls wiki. It's so cool. It's not as good as I thought it'd be. Obviously, it's chain mail, so it's not going to be as good as the steel or iron armor, I guess, that we have.
Oh, but it, it's so cool. Look at that little logo. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But I love it. I love it so much. It just brings me back to my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. And Night Solaire of Astora. Praise the sun. Whoa. Wait a sec. What? You. You. What? There's a there's two of them? I'm confused. There's two? Or do they they must use both, I'm assuming. I don't know what else they take. I'm certain they take other crap, but I don't know what. Irrelevant for now. I want to drop down here and kill this. Get some twinkling titanite so I can upgrade some crap later on. Uh, is that the only thing back here? I feel like it is. It definitely is. I like the sound cha chain mail makes. The nice little ringing sound of all the rings moving together in unison because this armor is the best. Okay, so this is going to take some. Some canoodling. Up. And we go. Hip ho. And we get the Estus Ring. Which increases HT HP restored with Estus Flask. So we should probably put that on. Lowering equip load increases attack. Uh. I don't know I don't know what that actually did. But we'll put on the SS ring. I have so many rings now, jeez. I remember when I was first playing this, all I could think was like, man, you do not get a lot of rings. But now I can see that I was just an idiot and completely missed them all. Okay, so I think that's literally everything I can think of here at Firelink Shrine. So let's... So what exactly does healing home, the dark sign do? I want to know. Thine heart's desire. I can f give her the Firekeeper soul. Let's do that. Ashen one, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. So now we're able to heal the Dark Sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. So I can heal it. Requires 31,000 souls? What if I say yes? I can't say yes, right? Yeah, insufficient souls. Crap. I need 31,411 souls. <laughs> Jesus Murphy. Um. Anyways, I want to head back to the dilapidated bridge. 